Hey there, and welcome again to What the Tech, Dave, my friend. How are you doing, Rolando? That song, that song is pretty catchy, man. I I enjoy hearing it, and I hope the people that are watching it <laughs> like it too. I don't know if we're ever gonna change it up, but it just sounds fun. What the tech, Rolando? How how are you? What the tech, man? It is <laughs> Tech Tuesday. We used tech to Tuesday. say we used to say Friday, but now Tech Tuesday, I buddy. Like that you know, we were joking internally with the group. Someone's like. It's Taco Tuesday. I'm like, hey, tequila starts with a T. More mm -hmm. importantly, tech starts with a T. Tech Tuesday. It, it, it sure does. And, cool. I'm, and I'm glad we're here. And I'm glad those are, that are joining us live are here today. We're going to bring them something that I really enjoy doing. Uh, they, I love doing product demos yeah. for a whole host of reasons. I, I just it, it is what it is, right? And it, it just brings me a lot of joy to... Uh, to know that the people that are watching us today are going to get exactly what we also learn about these devices and and, and whether they, they they do stuff that that's going to work for them it's going to resonate with them or even if you're watching us later on and not during the live you really uh want to sit back and just sit back if you have a coffee or like me it's just have a little <laughs> lemonade and you'll sit back you know i'll tell you what today's today's episode is rather interesting because you know like you Rolando when we're doing product demos that means there's something new on the market so a lot of the stuff that we've been talking about it's been out there for a little while some of it's been brand new stuff mm -hmm. um, like the polysync 20 device great you know we like the new technology but what you and I are able to witness firsthand is the true innovation that some of these brands are bringing to the market Oh, it's right. all you know it's very competitive there's a lot of offerings out there and today's product does a lot of things that are industry first you know definitely doing something a little bit different as a um you know as a contender in this market so right. Right. i'm looking forward to it well me, me too me too all right and and like you said there's a there's a lot of contenders out there and speaking of contenders i think it's worth pointing out that uh today folks that may not have heard about yaylink yaylink uh, when it comes to the household names with uh, headsets, you've pr probably heard of Jabra, you've heard of Plantronics, you may have even heard of Sennheiser. Uh, but Yaylink has really focused um, for years in the um, in the phone space. So you've so those that are in the telecom world tend to know a little bit more about Yaylink because of the phones. And then the last year and a half, they've really made a lot of noise with some of the offerings they have around the hands-free devices on the speakerphone side. Uh, on on corded headsets uh, as well as um, as now these wireless headsets and one of the things that's interesting is in the electronic space you always think cheaper maybe is the same or better in some cases um, and, and these folks in Ye at Yaylink have really spent time researching what are the needs of the clients uh, what are they looking for and really tried to bring it at an affordable price I know that their speaker phones they use Harman Kardon technology uh, which is in a lot of the high-end cars so if you're watching today and you're thinking, I don't know anything about Yaylink, why should I buy them? Stick, stick through the whole episode <laughs> where you'll see a whole lot of stuff that they've got here. And they're really known for innovation uh, at a not a very expensive price, which is what makes their technology so interesting. They're making it more affordable to bring this technology to the office, to that remote worker, or deploy it throughout the office. So Dave. We could be talking about this all day long. Let's get right to it. Do it. All right. Let's go, Ori, right into the trivia question. All right. Who, you want me to do this or you want to do this one, Dave? You could do this one. All right. So we had some fun. With, <laughs> I'm laughing just looking at it. Bluetooth <laughs> and lie. All right. Bluetooth two, and a lie. All right. Two of these statements are true. The other is false. Which is which? I don't even know. I'm going to, I don't, because the guys put this one together. So I'm, I'm there with you, right with the audience on this one. There's a Bluetooth device. Okay, so, so statement number one. There's a Bluetooth device that uses bone conduction to transfer sound through your teeth into your inner ear. Holy smokes. <laughs> the device would sit in your mouth and act as a microphone and receiver. That's really good for like uh, special ops. I bet there's, there's something like that already out. Yeah, now, number could be. Two, yeah, it's possible. Number two, Bluetooth pairing can only be done with a one-to-one -one device connection at a single time. Interesting. And number three, there's a mobile Bluetooth accessory 
that you blow into your mouth to control apps and games. Whoa. Is that for real? <laughs> I guess we're gonna. I guess we're gonna, we're gonna find, find out. out. I think. I think I know which one is the lie, but I could be wrong because I didn't. I didn't put this together either. So. <laughs> I know we're both gonna be surprised at the end of the day, Ori boy. <laughs> you, you did yourselves today, Ori and team, who's who put those together. So thank you uh, for keeping us on our toes. So before we jump into the the, the meat of the show, I just want to let folks know that what we're trying to do today is help you understand how these devices can transform the desk space, the workspace that you have, uh, so that you have fewer devices on your desk. If, if you were to pan around on the other side of the camera, you would see that I have a, a stack of devices as well. Uh, and I would venture to say some folks have desks that have limited real estate space. So our, we're not just showing you a device that's new on the market, but one that can essentially reduce the amount of space that you have for your current devices if your real estate on your de on your desk is precious to you and you yeah. want to re um, chop that down and cut that down. All right. So, Ori, are we ready with the video? Okay. So let me tee it up. This is a little bit of, of us taking some, uh, uh, some fun at uh, Marie Kondo, and she's a wonderful uh, expert in decluttering. Uh, and so without further ado, let's roll out that video. like I can get any work done around here, huh? I've got packages, I've got cables. What's, oh, telemark. Hello? No, I don't want an extended warranty. Bye. Oh, jeez, these telemarketers are so crazy. All right, uh, what was I doing? Yeah. Yeah, what, what, what? Oh, come on, little guy. Give me a break. Alrighty, so let's try and get back to what we were just, what we're just doing. Okay. Uh, I can't, why can't I find that, that email? Where's the email? Oh, yeah. Nope. 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 I know what it was. Ah, I have that post a note. Watch Marie Kondo. Maybe she can get me out of this mess. Let's look her up. So now I need to plug in my speakerphone. Think which one should I use? This one? This one? I've got so many. Oh my! Ugh. Let's try. I know no phone is connected. All right. Let's see. What does Marie Kondo have to say about tidying? Teach me. Yes, I could use that. Oh, Spark Joy. Do you know what Spark Joy is? Transform your space and your life. Whoa, whoa, and even. Yes? Wow! Marie Kondo! I'm inspired. All of it's gotta go. Tidying up. All of it. <laughs> Transformation. Like this. Whoa! My Gaelic device is already up. It's set up. And my desk, it's nice and clean. Oh, 
Thank you, Marie Kondo. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know the best part about that, Dave? I know. Is, is that now you have a nice, clean workspace? <laughs> That's probably number two compared to number one uh, when I was watching that skit. My little one being my production assistant, yeah. suggesting a book and... Um, his Steve now is uh, Stephen Colbert, which is yeah, what he I wants heard, to watch. Yeah, that's funny. Stephen Colbert. <laughs> no, what a transformation! I was jealous and inspired all at the same time. You know, I, I I was speaking with someone the other day, and and I was saying, Rolando and I are doing a, an episode of Office Clutter, and it's a solution that can really replace multiple devices and just clean up everything around you. And I said exactly what you said in the intro, which was, we only have limited real estate. So this person that I was talking to, he's like, limited real estate? I don't even have a real desk. Mm. And I'm like, yeah, mm. so it's written. And then he did what we were just joking about, took his camera, flipped it around, and yeah, he had a desk. Yeah, he had a phone that was kind of over here. He did have a wireless headset for that phone on this side, but then he also right. had a Bluetooth thing for his computer. And I said, "You, you, sh you'll benefit from the topic that we're doing." Absolutely, anyway. absolutely. No, you're right, and um, it, it was fun doing that. Um, and actually, I piled a bunch of stuff on the desk, and it actually is still very clean. Um, but you know, like most people, it, it's it's hard to. Um, have um, a cl de clutter-free desk, but starting off your week that way, uh, I know for me works. It just helps me get in that space yep. of better creativity, less frustration, just something mentally that it does so that it frees you up to be able to do your job without all of the different things that are around you, distracting you and looking at you in the face. Yep. So what I want to do now is, uh, Ori, we, we can just go jump right into the... Um, the product booth, the close-up cam, we can start or and start talking about the device and what we've got here. So Yealink has um, the WH67 uh, that they've released. This is their uh, top of the line now uh, device that they have. Um, we've got it here on the close-up cam. It comes with, there's a couple of things you should know here. Um, what you don't see are a couple of optional devices. They have an optional uh, what they're they're calling a BLT50, which is an online indicator, and then next to this would be a um, a wireless uh, charger for your mobile. So it would sit in here like this. Um, there's an actual stand that hooks into here, um, and my understanding is that Yealink has pulled that wireless charger back because it is not Apple 12 compatible. So they've brought so they're going to re-release that wireless charger here in the in the near future. All right, so Dave, we can we can just go back and forth on this, and um, we'll talk, we'll point out a few things that are really um, interesting. And if you see something in, just go ahead and jump in. So okay. this display, if you look at the display, and I'm going to hold that up against. Oh, thank you, Ori. The WH67. The display is the thing on this on this um, device. It's comparable, and I've got an Android here. As you can see, the profile is very similar. The layout is similar in that you have at the very top, you have a battery indicator. You know, right up in here, you have a battery indicator, the signal strength. Uh, it also tells you that if it's connected or not, it's connected via Bluetooth. Uh, so you, it's, it's laid out intuitively like a mobile device. That's You've got nice. a time up here on the upper left hand corner uh, and you do have the ability to do multiple things so the display why is this big there are no other wireless headsets that show you not that I'm aware of Dave correct me if I'm wrong um, a display that actually shows you what's happening and and it's a touch display so as you can see I'm gonna to touch one of the buttons it changes the menu and so now you could go in and, and change several things. But the, the, the display itself is one of the biggest selling features. Now, outside of the display, Dave, one of the things that I, and we were testing this just the other day, is right below the display is a built-in speakerphone. Right, yeah, that's nice. And the speakerphone is quite good. Um, it, the audio quality is on, and I know we didn't practice this, but I'm going to see if I can link up to this device 
just so our audience can hear what this speakerphone has in terms of audio. Um, let's see. Let's keep it clean on the Pandora side. All right. Uh, oh no, let's not do Pandora because we don't want to run any copyrights. We'll do uh, we'll do a file that I have on here. Um, and what what it helps you do uh, with having a speakerphone, you'd normally have to have an additional speakerphone on your desk if you were using speakerphone. And the and this particular device also uh, will um, will allow you well, with the speakerphone the speakerphone quality that you're getting. It's going to be very comparable, much better than what you get on a mobile device. Uh, it may not as be as rich as a as a bigger just dedicated speakerphone, but for somebody that does use a headset and occasionally, you know, because I, I don't always use a headset. Sometimes I use a speakerphone. Maybe I'm going to be on hold for a while or I'm just yeah. in essentially listen mode only. Right, Dave, you may be on a webinar talking uh, or listening to somebody and um, you may not be the one you, you may not be the speaker. Yeah, exactly. You know, I think what they're what they were kind of doing here is they're saying, listen, if we're trying to replace a desk, a traditional desk telephone that everyone has been familiar with all these years, a traditional desk telephone would also have some sort of a speakerphone in there. Usually not the greatest of quality, mm -hmm. but it was something so that they can throw themselves on mute if they're on hold and whatever it might be. So I do think it's appealing in that it does have that ability. Mm -hmm. um, so you're able to get rid of that desk phone with confidence. If someone said, hey, listen, I don't even, it's not about using my hand receiver. It's more about having that speakerphone. This is going to give them the just the ability to upgrade to something like this. Right, and I'm and now I've got that file. So, um, or you may see the the uh, device disappear for the close up cam, just so I can bring it to the uh, the microphone. But just so the give the folks a taste. Yeah, not bad for a little speakerphone. And we want to thank Ashley Cash from Woven Green and the Woven Green Musical Group uh, for allowing us to use that <laughs> music. Thank you. Uh, and but yes, the speakerphone quality. I was surprised. Uh, I was really expecting something more along the lines of what you normally get in the phone, but it's it, it really surprised me. So speakerphone, just that alone with the display for me, money, money because. Uh, I'm, again, if you're a person that your you, your intention is a to get stuff off your desk and b you are on regular meetings, you may be on the phone, but you may not be on the phone. Being able to toggle back and forth from headset mode to speakerphone mode, terrific. Yeah. That that uh, that alone is 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 a great feature to have. Um, all right, let's continue with some of the other uh, positives and pluses on this on this guy. Um, then we've got the ability to multitask on this on this device so you can be in your mobile phone as you saw I just was playing the speakerphone music I was playing music through the speakerphone using my mobile device that also for folks that use their mobile phone for business and are on the computer at the same time or back and forth the ability to multitask is awesome so that you can switch back and forth with one headset Dave yeah and not have, and I know folks that have two headsets. They may have a headset that they could uh, use for their mobile phone and one for when they're using their computer or, or their desk phone. So this also helps reduce that, uh, that need for having multiple devices uh, on, on your desk. All right, let's talk about some um, other things. Um, you can also connect this device. You can connect the... Uh, device to uh, a I'm having problems with my words today. You can connect it to a desk phone. So on the back, it's got an additional PC port. Let me see if I can bring that in. Uh, there we go. That's where you would connect your PC. And it's got some additional USB ports as well so that you can connect the USB phone. Now, this is something that's unique um, with this that you essentially could theoretically connect it to three devices and they have an optional. Bluetooth dongle that would be a fourth device 
uh, on this. So you've got a lot of room for expansion. So if you've got a, if you're one of those techno geeks like I am, and you really just want to have a hub for a lot of the activity that you're doing, this is another feature that this has. So desk phones, as long as your desk phone is a USB desk phone, or if it has a USB for B port for audio, you should be just fine. The other thing, if you could take a look here, let me see if I can show you this. It will tell you at all times what you're connected to. Um, in this case, right now, it's connected to my Google Pixel phone. As you can see, it's saying Google Pixel phone. So you, ne you never have to guess where a call is coming from or what's happening in real time. And that's also unique. You know, Dave, other wireless headsets just simply have buttons on them. So you're not sure sometimes if you've got a, a wireless headset connected to your PC or mobile, what device your audio is going out. This is going to always tell you that because all you have to do is take a glance and, oh, it's coming from my phone right. in case you, you know, for whatever reason got lost in thought or whatever. It's there. So two, two things that you mentioned. So that's that user feedback. That's having some sort of an interface. What they've done here is they've provided a very... <laughs> an interface that everyone's already very familiar with. We all use cell phones, uh, sorry, smartphones for the most part. So they give you that interface. Instead of just buttons or lights, they're using words and pictures. Right. So that's very intuitive for that user. The other piece that you were talking about, which is basically the customizability. Is that a word? Is that, maybe. Customizability. That's the most um, syllables I've used in one word today, and which means I probably made it up. But what's <laughs> nice about it is you had said there's a there's an optional charger, which is the wireless charging. So Yealink will have that out once it's updated for the new iPhone. So that's that's really nice. It is. Not everybody would want that. I would just to have your stand and just be able to put your cell phone right next to it. Right. And then it's charging because everybody's everybody has an issue with battery life on their cell phones. I don't care who they are. Um, would you tell me something the other day about how uh, your kid or your dog yes. or something, just oh just, just one less wire to worry about because they're going to trip on it. They may pull yep. on it. They may, the dog may, may get at it. And, and now, now you're out of a cell phone um, or, or a cable or something. Isn't, you know, isn't or, that crazy though? Mm -hmm. Just have, just charging your cell phone with a wire. Yep, the dog, the dog came, jumped up, and the whole phone went on the ground. Now I have a, I have a nice case on my phone, so I'm okay with that. But that could have been, that could have been my desk phone. That could have been a cell phone that didn't survive. The dog doesn't realize that's an $800 phone. Mm -hmm. Anytime we're eliminating cables, we're cleaning up clutter. We're saving on resources. And this product, when you start expanding it with those different pieces, for those that need that extra capability. It's there for you, so it's nice. Speaking of capability, uh, because this device is a Teams device, uh, meaning that for those folks that don't know, uh, in the headset world, you have devices that are essentially designed to work right out of the box with Teams, and um, and then you have everything else, which is it's just a wireless headset on your computer. This device uh, will allow you to work completely integrated into Teams, and it has a way to, for you to toggle into the Teams mode. So if you're a heavy Teams user or you're going to be using Teams, it makes that life easier for you. You get notifications. You're able to see um, your, your, your some voicemails. Uh, it's got, there's a whole long list, and we could probably post this list of Teams features that are integrated into, the, into this device. Now, the other cool thing, Dave, a lot of people have asked how... If they're getting rid of space, can I use this as a phone? And the answer is yes. Whether you're using this in Teams mode or even in mobile phone mode, when you it comes with a and I'm gonna um, or if you could show up the, the the close up. So let's just suppose I wanted to use this as a phone on my now. Right now it's connected to my mobile. There's a dial pad there. Wow. Uh, so I can dial from here if I didn't want to grab my phone. Now if I had if I was if I had the wireless charger for the cell phone here, it's something totally cool that you would, would want to use for. That same dial pad, by the way, works on your Teams uh, so that you can dial out if you wanted to dial 
So now you can really do the job of getting rid of that desk phone if you're using a, what's called a soft phone, like a like a Microsoft Teams, which has the ability to dial out, um, or some other um, soft phone like a Ring Central. Um, it's the only thing yet that they don't have, and we're going to get to some of the other things that they don't have um, integrated are some of those functions to those uh, platforms that are outside of Microsoft Teams, but that doesn't mean you can't use it for those platforms. Um, you just simply, it would be working like a regular wireless headset uh, so, rather than an integrated headset. So just to clarify, so you're telling me that if I have this on my desk and my computer, just those two items, I use Microsoft Teams. Mm -hmm. I have a direct USB connection that goes from the Yealink device into my computer. Mm -hmm. Once I have that connected, it's fully compatible with Microsoft Teams. I can dial directly from this device. I don't have to go into my, my on, onto my computer at all to make calls. Right. So if you look at um, on the screen right now, I'm on this one of the settings. It tells you platform. So right now I have it set up to UC mode. Yep. Uh, but if I go here, I can select Teams, and it says, "Are you sure? Or you want to change the Teams?" I say yes. So now it'll reboot. It'll reboot, and then it will set itself up so that it's in Teams mode, and all the different functions will allow the Teams uh, capability that it has to be integrated seamlessly back yeah. and forth. All right. Tell you, man, that is that is awesome because as people get rid of desk phones. If people move away from the brick, part of the reason why they don't want to, and I've talked to so many of them, is I need a dial pad. I'm so used, they're so used to having a dial pad, something to touch with their fingers right in front of them. And they get a little, um, they, they do get perplexed about the idea of not having that thing on their desk anymore. Right. And this, this helps reduce some of that fear because now you see that the, the background change. And here's another cool thing about this. A lot, uh, a lot of just just your phone. It has a white screen that's staring at you all day long. Yep. You can go into essentially dark mode. So if you don't want all that light, that bright light that hitting your light. face the entire time, you can go into a dark theme, which is what I've selected. As you can see, it's got the purple dial pad for Teams. It's also got the Teams logo right here, so you know you're in Teams mode. So there's that's no great. guesswork. Now I don't have it connected right now to the PC, but if I did, I'm going to hit the dial pad as you can see it comes up purple in the team's colors right what a what a what a smart product so far i'm very impressed with this device right i i i am and we haven't even talked about the headset we're just talking about the base know, station right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, i want to take a look at one other thing yeah so then it brings all the other settings are going to be in essentially dark mode so you can more easily um go through and see the menus and yeah, uh, cool. you can another small thing you know dave i i've got a lot of devices on, on my desk and around the house when you've got a lot of devices at night all this stuff lights your house up like a christmas tree <laughs> and so it has a, a ability to to turn off uh, essentially the backlight yep. can, you can adjust the backlight as well as be in this dark mode and you have a way to turn on essentially the screensaver so it just stops sending you that that light if you didn't want to be in dark mode and you wanted to just have the white background it will essentially go uh, like a, like a screensaver it'll just go black after 30 seconds or a minute five minutes it's got a couple of different uh, variations of that, that that allow you to to set it so that it just doesn't stare at you all day long or all night long pushing out all that light right yeah that's great um, so so you've got you've got some of those features there now let's jump into a couple of things that are more about the usage of the headset or did with well, Dave was there something about the base station that you wanted to talk about I could probably talk about it all day, but I will bore the world, so <laughs> so no. Well, we're here to tell the customers and the audience and people that are trying to study this thing what this whole thing about. So I don't think you're going to bore anybody. So let's talk about the headset itself. So the earpiece is a very small, and I'm going to just move over here. It's a very small, lightweight device. It's got, as you can see, uh, an indicator light. 
It's got a red button. That's that would be, um, uh, and as well as uh, it's got your Teams button. So if you're in Teams mode, you can do several things. You can slide it. So let me let me just over here. So this is a, also like a virtual button. You yeah. See the, and that is your volume up and down, Dave. So um, you just kind of you just slide, slide it. Back and yeah, forth. that's cool. So it's a really cool thing um, that you have that you have a mute and and your teams button or if you're not in teams mode it'd essentially be your uc multi-function button so that's one thing now it comes with and it's a very short boom so it's so it'll stay out of your face um and rest comfortably you have a couple of different wearing styles and this is where the preference for users comes into play so or i'm going to switch back to the main camera for a second so this earpiece as you can see it's not very big Right, and it comes with several wearing styles. In the box, you get several ear gels for different sizes. Now, here's what I find interesting. I wore this myself for a few days, and they've done a better job on the on the silicone gels that are in there that you're going to put inside your ear. So how many? Go, how many are there? Do I count eight? Yes, the uh, for four for left and four for right. Got it. Okay. So they're they're there. Four for left and four for right. Uh, and you, those are meant to be worn um, on there. And those are, I'm just going to show you, those are fairly easy to put in here. And if I can just line them up, then you'll see how easy it is to get in there. Boom. It's very slick. So that, you can put that in your ear right there. Yeah. And I put the right, well, this is right one. I'll show you the left because I've got the, the right, I've got my earpiece in my right ear right now. So I'm going to put the left one in. Uh, it, it rests rather nicely. Now, this, this type of headset is really designed for somebody that is going to be on the phone, but maybe they're not a, such a power user like your call center types, Dave. Maybe it's an executive. Maybe it's somebody that is on the phone throughout the day but they're not on the phone it's like a customer service rep. So sure. there it's, so it sits in the ear, as you can see, I put it on. Um, I'm gonna move around. It, it stays on there rather nicely. Um, the ear gels, a lot of the times, some of them are hard um, um, or some of them slip off. This, as you can see, it's not slipping out, even without the ear hook. So now this comes with a, a supplemental ear hook. So if you are gonna be getting around, moving around, it could stay on your ear better or if you don't prefer, if you don't want to wear the ear, the earpiece that comes with it. Yeah, let's see. There we go. If you want to wear the ear, you don't want to use that that uh, silicone ear tip. You don't have to. You can just take it out, and you could use the ear hook. Let me put that bad boy in there. Okay, and that's what that looks like. That looks good. All right. Now I'm gonna. As you can see, that just leaves this piece exposed. Now, totally your preference. There's no right or wrong way. Um, and I put it for the right ear because I usually wear things on my right ear, like my earpiece. So I'm gonna put it on for the left. Is that left? No, and I put it on the wrong way. Here we go. Left would be this way. So this is left, and so we go put it here. There's one, there one ear hook in the package? Yes, so you can wear it left or right. Okay. And if, if I can uh, figure out which is my left and which is my right, because that's, so I want to wear it this way, like this, left. There we go, left. As you can see, it rests on the ear without an ear gel. Now, people have different size ears, and this has, for me, been always the hardest part when I'm wearing something this small and I'm contemplating an ear hook or an, right. or an ear gel, is that I have small ears. So most attempts with the very, the only exception here when it comes to ear hook styles that I've ever found for me to be successful were the Plantronics 5200 UC mobile, um, uh, m mobile um, Bluetooth headset. Thanks. This, right. <laughs> yes. And this one actually does a really good job with the uh, ear tips as well as the ear hook. Now, let's take it a step further. Let's say if you are somebody that's going to be on the phone, probably like myself, more than not, um, throughout the day, 
it comes with a headband. And I like this part about it. It rests very nicely on the ear, the padding, there's plenty of padding. There's plenty of room around the ear so that it rests comfortably. And there's sufficient cushioning in there so that um, if you're gonna be using it, you know, you're gonna be talking and it's gonna be used for an extended period of time, it rests on your head very nicely. It's comfortable, it won't pinch. Now, if you're using glasses, which is the next thing that people tend to ask, I'm gonna reach for my mine right here so you can see what that looks like. All right, let me, let me get a little closer. As you can see, it goes, my, my glasses are here and here's the headband um it still rests on the ear there is not a lot of pressure now dave you've said in the past you have a big old melon so obviously that would expand <laughs> outward right yep and that is usually what creates that pressure on your ear when you're wearing your glasses right so you know yourself if you're watching this you know if you're like dave if you have a big melon that tends to be a problem there's no way to get around physics. It's just math and physics. If you have a big melon, Dave, you're gonna tend to push this out and that's gonna put more pressure on your ear as well as that part where your ear rests or your glasses rests with your ear, okay? But if you don't have a big melon, you have a small melon, <laughs> you have a small <laughs> cantaloupe, right? You're gonna be fine. And for me, my preference with generally all headsets is headband. Now, I have some hair. I still have some hair. So congratulations, does... by the way. <laughs> uh, so it does, you know, uh, some females and you know, we get calls from from female clients. They don't want anything in their hair. It gets in. They obviously have a lot of times have longer hair um, or, or you just 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 style and your preference. You don't have to use it with the headband, but just know when you're going ear hook or with the ear tips, um, that tends to be where some people um, say, well, I don't, I don't like, I don't like something in my ear. That's just kind of just again, preference, but you knowing that this is a little bit more comfortable may solve that problem. The other thing is that we talked about was that this has a speaker phone. So if you do get tired, which I did I, when I was using this for several hours the other day, um, I found that it really great. I just popped it back in the charger and I was listening to a webinar and I, boom, I could hear it just fine. Better than the native speakers on my MacBook. Well, Lando, if I was, <clears throat> um, if I was managing a business and I needed to find headsets for my team. So we have a couple of people up front, they're customer facing. We have some people that are in the back. We have the guy over in the warehouse. If my job was to find headsets for them, I would gravitate to something like this. It's one product. It's exactly. It's so I. It's the. Um, it has all the different options for all of the people in my office, and more importantly, I don't have to add. It's called the coffee order. Have you ever tried to be the nice guy in the office? You're like, hey, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a run for coffee, and the first person you ask, you're like, do you want a coffee? And they say, yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, oh no, what is, what are they gonna say? And they say, I want a large latte with skim milk, half caramel, and immediately you're like, oh no, I should never have asked. I really just wish <laughs> I bought a gallon of coffee. Brought the sugar, brought the cream, brought the milk, and then they can all make it themselves. That's essentially what this is. This is, here's the product. Wear it how you want to wear it. Right. Everything is there for you. I would imagine if you're an IT, whether you're an IT manager or you are a, um, or you're a business owner um, or a telecom manager and you're the, or an office manager and you're in charge of these things, headsets, and I've got one back here as well. Um, they're not always hard to manage and it has most mostly i think with, with preference and and if you could resolve that issue of preference where people say i don't want an ear hook i want a headband or i want a headband because i'm up and down on my chair all day long this takes care of that problem because it's got and also what i didn't show you is a neck band so you can wear it around the back of your neck um so that it rests there and you you connect it in so you don't even have to put a headband or an ear hook this is the third wearing option that you have in the box.
So it's it's an IT manager's best friend from that standpoint. Uh, and from an IT standpoint, you do have, uh, we're not gonna feature it here today, but you do have an app because it's not ready. It's an app that allows you to manage remotely the headsets. Yealink has told us that it's gonna come out sometime later this year. And what they do have right now is an app that only allows you to configure the device locally on your computer. So, but more to come on that. And I'm sure that when they release it, we'd love to have Yealink. If you're watching, we'd love to have you on, show it to our audience, see all the cool things that this new app is going to do for the enterprise. Dave, did I miss anything so far before we jump into the pros and cons? Nope. I think we're, I think we are, We've given a nice uh, a nice baseline for what the product does, the audience, some of the features and benefits of it. I, all right, let's jump into the pros and cons. So, a couple of the pros: uh, you can, can it connects to the to your laptop, it connects to your desk phone as long as it's a USB desk phone, and it comes with built-in Bluetooth. That is a triple threat there, and the best execution of a triple threat that I've seen so far. And taking into account that you'd have a speaker, it's not on there as a pro, is a speaker phone. You only have a 299 price point on this device. From an That's execution cool. standpoint, from a features perspective, and a price point perspective, this is really a steal, Dave, in my point, in my, in my view. It's really a steal at that price because other comparable wireless headsets in its class cost 399 to 499 upwards of $500 to essentially get that triple threat. Yep. Uh, and in on those <clears throat> devices, by the way, you don't have a dial pad. Now, on those devices, you don't have a speakerphone. So you're getting a lot of bang for your buck yeah. for this. And when they release that wireless charger, you're getting even a more more value uh, for something of this uh, of this type of device. When you say Dave, you know what? I can't think of anything else at this price point that's giving you all of these things so they really hit it out of the park with the pros here all right so now yeah. with the so with, with the, the cons, cons Go ahead. with you the cons wanna, wanna the you cons? know so this is a product that's designed to work with desk phones that have a usb port that support audio and not everyone is up to speed on that there's still mm -hmm. a lot of older desk phones out there where this won't work and those general you know those phones have that old RJ9 style headset jack. Yeah, this this headset's not going to necessarily work with that particular desk phone. It's really set for the future, right? It and is. for actually the now in the that a lot of folks went home to remote work. And they're betting that some of those folks will stay home to do remote working. And some of those that may need to come into the office or, or work from the office can actually deploy this. Again, for the IT manager perspective, they can deploy it for those remote workers and they can deploy it for the office workers as long as they're going to continue using the computer as your central device for communications. Right, right. Um, you know, and another con that we had just come up with is that the Bluetooth usage for non-Teams apps. So, yes, it will work with other UC applications, but it doesn't have that full integration today with the Bluetooth and with the, with the dial pad. Right. right. And, and, and there are other wireless headsets that have that integration, for example, with Ring Central on the PC side um, or Zoom. Um, and it's, it's just a matter of time because that's exactly. uh, I think that with, with the fact that they're coming out with their enterprise uh, grade uh, features, uh, their enterprise app for management, they already have an app that's for local, local upgrades and updates of the device. You can expect that that's going to happen because all the manufacturers, Jabra, Plantronics, Sennheiser, they all work in that way where they're always trying to add more apps, uh, more platforms, I should say, that will be integrated into their device. And I can't see why this wouldn't be the same. But today, just know that, that those functions are not integrated into those other apps. It would just still function like any normal headset from any other company. And it would just you would just be an audio endpoint at that at that point. So those are some of the cons on the device. Um, I, I couldn't find a ton to, 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 to really knock it down. I think, again, the price point that you're getting um, and what you're getting at the price point is usually what you would pay up for a 499 device um, with some of the other manufacturers. I'm, I'm really amazed that they're going that aggressive. But 
Um, if you're looking at the industry, Dave, I think that uh, these manufacturers realize that the desk phone space is shrinking. And yeah. that device is a, at some point, I'm mean, not tomorrow, not the next year, is going away. And units sold through desk phones, especially during the pandemic, have gone down. And this is they, true. And they may come back a little <clears throat> bit with some resurgence now that people are back in the office. But the long term play with the platform providers, Ring Central, Teams, WebEx, that's that's where it's that's where it's at. And I think they know that. And so they're having to be prepared for the day when the desk phone is gone or virtually or gone altogether. And the device like this helps uh, organizations stay one step ahead of that. So the next thing that we'll need to do once we really get uh, some more experience with this product is we'll bring some product demos, some sound tests, some noise cancellation tests, mm -hmm. some comfort tests. We'll bring it to some other people, have them test it and rate it. And that's uh, that'll be fun. So I'm looking forward to see how the product performs. Well, I, me too. Me too. You know, we do it. We do it. What the tech style, you know, I, I would love to throw it in and <laughs> dunk it in some water and whatnot. Uh, but that's not what that device does. But the audio quality test is I'm really looking forward to doing that. Ori, yeah. let's go up to close up cam and now to the other side of the spectrum. And they also have uh, from a price point something um, for those folks that don't want to spend two ninety nine. dollars uh, We've got a, a corded headset that they've come out with that's in the fifty nine dollar range. So that's that's within range for a lot of budgets. This is. Uh, from a budget standpoint for a headset, it, it's got some really cool things in here. It's got the padded, um, the the padded leatherette ear cushions, which is good, and it also comes in a um, foam version. The other thing I found really interesting is the microphone boom on this is quite flexible, so it'll bend. Let's see if I can get that in there, so it'll bend, and so it can be adjusted. It does have some pivoting in the ear cups, not a ton, but a little bit, which is good. And you want some pivoting because that's what's going to give you that all day comfort when you have the ability to make these things rotate. Um, there's some other headsets that do that. They cost a lot more than $59. So at $59, you're getting, again, they're going for bang for your buck. Uh, you're getting a pretty good uh, cable here it's very flexible as you can see it wraps around my finger this is something that's really important with cables uh, the more rigid it is the more likely it's to break the more likely the more likely it will um, last a very short amount of time so a flexible durable cable is essential you've got that you've got the USB controls this is a they, they have a version as well that is designed for the uh, phones so it comes with an rj connection if for those folks that need a similar headset for the uh, phone you have again your teams button for those folks that are using teams you have a mute and let me bring this a little closer a mute and a volume control on here on the side so it raises the volume up and down and you have an answer button which which would be that that button that's on the top there um, I, I wore this particular headset the other day. I found it comfortable. I think they're going, Dave, for that all-day user that needs a budget. Sure. Uh, you need to be on on probably longer than a than, um, couple of hours, probably three to four hours a day at, at $59 MSRP. I think you're getting a pretty good deal. I Also, the audio, uh, we'll have to, like you said, we'll need to do some tests. I did a few audio tests just kind of uh, just testing it out. Uh, and that was it was OK for something this price point. I, I could see how this could fit um, most people's budgets. And it does do a good job of delivering audio in in the east in the speakers. So full dis device. so full disclosure, I haven't had that product in my hand, Rolando, but you've you have been wearing that. You were wearing mm -hmm. it this morning for our team call and yep. your audio toss sounded phenomenal. So I know the user doesn't always hear that um but like. we all had a very pleasant experience Th there was zero crackling you sounded um it was just a, a full audio range i also i really like that they have the leatherette i really like leatherette um just for myself yeah it's, the, it's the more comfortable i find the leatherette more comfortable yeah the f and it also the in the leatherette it does deliver more decibel 
into the ear. So if you're in an environment where it's a little noisier, you will find that the leatherette um, ear pads seal a little better than the foam. Again, they have the foam version. The, the trade-off is the foam breathes a little better. And with the leatherette, you just have a better seal so that it's quieter around you in your ear uh, with less distractions. Right, so that's the right. trade-off. Breathability versus sealing out the world and getting better um, audio quality delivered to your ears through the speakers. So what I'm hearing is on this corded headset from Yealink, the UH-34, they're now offering a single ear and Mono. a double ear. You yes. happen to have the, the binaural headset, so they have right. a single ear, double ear, and then a USB and also RJ9 style R for a, and for a desk phone, like an older an older phone, and it would work on those USB phones that, that is we correct. we're kind of touching on, on there as well. Um, you know, and at that price point... You know what? There are some call centers out there that are uh, high turnover, aggressive style users. Uh -huh. um, and also sometimes there's, uh, you know, I'm thinking like training. You know, if you have a training center and it's like, listen, we just need something that sounds good, but that's not going to break the budget. We'll use those for training. And then maybe there's something else like a wireless solution like we were just talking about right. for when they graduate from the training into into that's, their actual job. That's correct. And for more of a dedicated worker that is dedicated to the phones, um, we, the the heads the wireless headset would be in this direction. Can I point? Right there. <laughs> that one that's over there, right there. That's yep. their mid-range wireless back there. Um, we're going to showcase it separately at a, on a different episode, so look for that uh, because it's it's at, at a lower price point than the one that we showed. Um, so it's more stripped down doesn't have all of the it doesn't have the displays So it's a lower price point. It's right in between your corded and then the premium device uh, that that we showcase today uh, mm -hmm. Dave, let's talk about pros and cons. I think we've probably nailed it uh, But just just to go back and hit the bullet points on that uh, I'll, I'll throw it with the I'll throw it to the pros you do the cons the hey I'm gonna throw listen I'm gonna throw it to a pro but at the same time. I want to highlight a pro tip Oh, you want to do... Okay, go for it, Ori. <laughs> all right, all right, that's great. Listen, um, if, if you're using Microsoft Teams, you're going to love the dedicated Microsoft Teams button that's on the UH-34 USB variant. It is a handy alert button that lights up to signal that there's a meeting that's starting, a missed phone call, a voicemail. So you know what? If your computer went to sleep, Microsoft Teams is floating in the background, but your computer's asleep. If there's that Teams button that's going to light up so that you know, hey, uh, maybe you missed a phone call. Maybe there's a meeting that you missed, whatever it might be. Pretty slick, Rolando. I know. I know. I, I, can't, I can't say enough about that. That's yeah. great for the Teams users. <clears throat> so, uh, um, so obviously for a pro, the price point here for a commercial headset again yay link is no one trick pony there are 59 dollars options out there but i'm sure if you dig into that brand that's what they do they have a headset or two headsets so listen a pro, pro here is certainly commercial quality product at that 59 dollars price point the ear pads they do have the um the pivoting which would help maybe someone that has a big charlie brown dome like myself or someone that is a <laughs> Uh, smaller cantaloupe. Um, I do like that flexible microphone. You know, we want to get that position so it's closer to the user's mouth. This ad, this helps with noise cancellation. Also helps just for standard audio quality. <clears throat> and of course, the that integration with the um, the Yealink app, which is really nice. Yeah, and so you can customize it even further. Now, on the con side, if you were looking for um, a long, like, and this is four hours more because while well, we're talking power users here, power users want comfort. Power users stay comfortable by having the most comfortable device on their head and having, you know, you know, you, you and I've been doing this for 20 years or more. Uh, the comfort uh, that you would want as a power user may not be there, like something like on the Jabra 2300 series. Uh, or even the 2400, where the, the entire ear cups, they kind of rotate all the way around. 
so that you get an additional level of comfort. Um, and because of that, if you are using it for four hours or more, it, it wouldn't be as comfortable as some of those devices. But the trade-off is those devices cost way more, way more when we're talking about. So you're paying up to get to that comfort. But again, if you want something that's commercial grade quality, that fits your budget, this may be the device that you need if you're a call center or you're, you're deploying um, a bunch of these um, throughout your enterprise and you want to stay under under 60 bucks. I was going to say 100, 100, but it's under 60 bucks MSRP. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Dave, did we miss anything on the uh, on these two lovely devices from Yealink? You know what? I know. I'm hoping that there's some customer that there's some clients out there that have some other questions, so that they can bring those to us. Yes. Please send us an email, like us, uh, subscribe to our channel if you like this content. Uh, yeah. Sh- you know, keep the conversation. A, give going. us a call. Keep the conversation going. Yeah, we we are building a, a, a community of like-minded folks that want to know more about this and. We certainly love your comments and feedback. And Dave, now I just want to piggyback on what you said about subscribe and like. We release content that's not on this Tuesday interval. Uh, and if you want to get those nuggets, because we do release nuggets uh, uh, that are not in our scheduled podcast, those are released and you will know it if you're subscribed and you uh, if you hit the notification button or whatever you've got to do, whatever platform you're at, you know, on YouTube, you got to get get notified. That Thank you, Ori. Get notified so you know when we've pushed out some uh, nuggets out to you so you can stay informed. All right. Um, and I think we have some announcements, right? We've got we some do. interesting slate of folks coming up. April 6th, we've got Adam Mistrelli. You may not know Adam. He works for IBM and works in the blockchain, let's just call it department. He works in that area. (laughs) Blockchain and crypto are huge. People are talking about that. People are talking about NFTs, non-fungible tokens. We want to tap Adam to see what is happening. There's a lot happening right now. You've heard of Tesla going crypto and buying crypto. A lot of the big companies are also going crypto. We want to break that down with Adam and he can tell us what's going on and what we should do, uh, whether you're a business owner or you're an enterprise uh, that may be relevant uh, and some of those trends there. Then we follow that up with Eva Reed. Uh, Eva, Eva is a, um, she works within the government space, uh, in the technology sector. And there's a lot of interesting things there. And we want to, um, have Eva come on the show and tell us what's happening there. And we have one that's not on here. And this is why you want to get subscribed. We have a really big interview coming up with one of the writers for PC magazine. Stay tuned for that. Uh, because we have a lot of cool things about remote work and best places to work. Uh, and this is coming from the journalist that wrote that piece. So he will be with us. We have not determined the date yet. Stay tuned and you will find out if you're subscribed. So thanks, Rolando. Listen, I had a lot of fun today. Now what I, I want to wrap it up with this trivia, with the answer to the trivia question. It's been, it's been bugging me since we started. Okay. So let's bring it back around, Ori. So this is our take on uh, two truths and a lie. So Bluetooth and a lie. Two of these statements are true. Which one of those is false? So there is a Bluetooth device that uses bone conduction to transfer sound through your teeth into your inner ear. The device would sit in your mouth and act as a microphone and receiver. I personally think that this is true, but we'll reveal that. Bluetooth (laughs) pairing can be done one-to-one um at a time i believe that is true but we'll get to that and that there's a mobile bluetooth accessory that you blow into with your mouth to control apps and games i think that is the lie there so ori why don't you reveal the answers for everybody wow Ah! (laughs) Wow. all right well that was a fun game i had no idea uh, Bluetooth can only be only the answer here. I see only be done on a one to one device connection at a single time. That's not true. You can, you, I know you can pair things multiple, like multi point, right? That's multi point technology. So that exactly is false. 
Ori, thank you for those questions, man. You 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 you're throwing us a curveball. But now that I see the false one, I can see I can see why. That's spot on. So thanks for bringing that, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> any any other parting words to our audience before we go? Listen, I'm just glad that we're doing what we're doing, Rolando. This has been a lot of fun. Um, this particular Yaling device, both of these, uh, they seem like, again, real contenders in the market. It's a competitive mm -hmm. marketplace. There is a lot of options that are out there. You know, we're not we're not saying it's one size fits all or that there's necessarily a best headset. Because it's really finding the best headset for the intended user. So consider that. Any questions that anyone has, we'd love to hear from you. All right. Well said, Dave. I can't really add to that because you said it all. And we look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Have a good all one. All right. Thanks.